Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we have a quicker video. Uh, I'm playing the demo for Pixel Dungeon VR. And while it looks very much like Ancient Dungeon VR, this game actually plays much closer to Dungeons of Eternity than Ancient Dungeon. And that is a lot of dungeon in one intro. <laughs> but um, you'll see here as we kind of go through this first stage that this game is very much uh, Dungeons of Eternity inspired. I think really more so than Ancient Dungeon. And to start things off here, you'll notice my equipment screen here. Uh, I have all these different axes that I can equip, and we're, we're looking on what's on my left side right now, so I can do these two. And just like Dungeons of Eternity, you know, there's some good throwing mechanics where you can kind of suck the axes back to you. And it feels really, really good and really, really natural. Um, but I think what I'm going to do for this run is I want that axe on my right hip and on my left I want my trusty shield and this shield also kind of doubles as a weapon yeah you know you can block with it but you can also Captain America at bad guys and have it come flying right back and this stuff just feels so natural in this game that and it's uh, it works really 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 well and then also what you notice like Dungeons of Eternity is over my back here is I have my uh, my ranged weapon right now I've got these kind of throwing star things where I can go whoosh, whoosh. again very satisfying I think I'm gonna go with this bow here that I've got that has plus two damage on it that I actually upgraded earlier so the bow here just like this reach back and shoot all feels very very good um, over here we have the tech tree where you can spend points which I don't have any right now but you can see I bought some of this stuff um, you know, like increased range damage, range damage, increased melee damage, extra health, uh, oh, uh, quicker dash cooldown. And here's my dash right here. It feels very, very good to use in game. And then lastly, over here is my little avatar, who I am. This guy kind of actually looks like me. It's kind of weird, um, but we can sort through. And um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here to choose from. You know, there's kind of like a master chief looking person right here. You know, soldier looks a little bit like Link. Um, we also have this kind of jetpack looking guy. God, what is that from? I cannot think of what that's from. If you know what that's from, uh, let me know in the comments. And then again, a bunch of cool stuff in here, kind of like an apothecary dude. That one would be pretty fun. Kind of expensive, 500 coins. I only got 157, but these are not microtransactions. These are all things that you just gather in game and just spend to your heart's desire. Um, we're going to jump ahead a little bit and we're going to go up to the control hub. And here we are. This is the control hub, which kind of acts as your mission starting area. And again, I just cannot help but throw this stuff and like suck it back. It just feels so goddamn good. Okay, sorry. Here we go. Getting distracted. Um, so this is where you're going to select what mission you're going to go in the um, the dungeon set. So we can right now it's set to the library in the demo. That seems to be all I have. I'm not sure what all is included in the full release, but we're going to do the library. And all these levels are randomly generated, just like Ancient Dungeon and uh, Dungeons of Eternity. Sorry, there's so much dungeon going on here that I'm like getting tripping over my words. This is the difficulty slider, and it looks like you have to upgrade to the full version to unlock those, which is fine. And then we do have some different game modes here. But we're going to start things off. I'm going to pull the lever, and we're going to activate these oddly familiar looking teleporters. And we are going to launch into the dungeon. All right, we are here in the library, and you can see that this is very much inspired by Ancient Dungeon. And let's try climbing this ladder right here. And we're off, we're up and climbing. It feels really good and smooth to do that. And then we go through this room and see what kind of bad guys we can find. The levels are randomly generated, so that is nice and some good replay value there. I don't know how random they are. Ooh, this little skull thing didn't float at me. Oh shit, there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna take care of this guy. There's another one. I can take care of these ranged dudes first. More on him later. Let's deal with this guy first. Okay, I got shit coming from all over the place. Where he gone? Knocked him away, huh? I'm gonna dash past these guys here a little bit. Put in that hand, huh? 
Got him once. Oh, there we go. Oop, missed. Alright, where'd you go? Where are you at? Boom. Boom. Ah. Die. There we got him. Oh, we still got some more dudes. Let's see if we can get these guys with a bow, maybe. Woo! Alright, that is the first... The first room here. I found a key somewhere. Where the hell did that thing go? There it is. Right on key over here. Alright, this will be a good opportunity to show you the inventory system. So just like Dungeons of Eternity, you can put it kind of right into your belly there. And it's in there. You can grab this pack and pull it in front of you and kind of see it's like a Saints and Sinners style backpack here. Or you can just push a button and it pops out right in front of you. And let's find out where we want to go next and look at our map. So again, this is uh, awfully familiar, this style of map. And we're going to head over into this room over here, so let's see what kind of trouble we can find in here. And cha Yeah, just love our throwing stuff. Okay. So this game is multiplayer. It's built from the ground up for multiplayer, and that is wonderful, wonderful news. As it would be a ton of fun. Holy shit, what is that? Alright, let's get back to that multiplayer stuff in a second. Make sure I don't die here. Oh god, these damn purple guys. How oh, hard did it hit? Oh, hello! Where did you come from? Woo! Got my ass kicked for sure. Okay, let's, t for the sake of the video, let's uh, let's tone it down to medium, I think, so that I can <laughs> I can show you a bit more than that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit in uh, the video now and show you uh, some of its other mechanics when I don't die right away. So, okay, back in. All right, where was I here? You know what? That looks suspicious to me. 30 years of video games have taught me that this is a secret. Let's find out. Heck yeah. And there's a chest that I do not have a key for. So let's see if I can find a key real quick and we'll come back to that. Okay. There we go. And I cannot stress enough just how good and natural all these interactions feel. Um, we were talking about multiplayer before I died, so let's get back to that. The game is built for the ground up with multiplayer in mind. You and up to two other friends can jump in this dungeon together and uh, kill stuff to your heart's content. Uh, again, very much like Dungeons of Eternity. There we go. Put that in and put that in. I'll need those later. Um, and... You, the demo itself doesn't normally have a multiplayer. However, uh, I've been talking with their community manager on Discord, and they do free multiplayer weekends that they term raids, that they uh, open up for the demo. But you have to go on their Discord and, jo and join a certain channel, the events channel. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description. And there's a code in there that you can put in that will unlock the multiplayer for that weekend. There's one going on this weekend. I know it's, you know, a Sunday, so I don't have much time to really take advantage of it. At least when this was originally posted, it was a Sunday. But uh, I, I think next weekend as well... God, I my ass kick. I think next weekend as well is also a multiplayer weekend. Eat that apple before I die. Um, let's get rid of this guy. I don't like him. Woo! Oop, missed him. Ooh, hello. That was a black last minute block. Alright, let's uh here we are. Let's get out the bow. Again, see how that feels. We'll get some of these guys on point. There we go. He's dodging me. What a son of a bitch. The bow feels pretty good to use. Got good range on it. Again, all the interactions. Super, super impressive in this game. Oh, there we go. I hear someone else walking up to me. Yep. Alright, so Pixel Dungeon is in early access. Uh, but it is just incredibly polished. And I have a pretty good feeling, after I eat this apple here, that uh, this game will continue to grow. I don't think this is going to be one of those abandoned early access games. Because it's 
It feels too damn good for that, I would say. Now, if you are a Dungeons of Eternity fan, you will certainly recognize this. And here we go. Got a bunch of gold. This will be a weapon. So I've got a new ninja star, or iron feather, I guess, that'll be waiting for me back at home base. So let's gather up some of this stuff here. Make sure I'm fully equipped. And then, yeah, let's go. Let's jump ahead, try to find the boss. Okay, so here we got a room full of skeletons. These guys are just going wild. They're charging at me. I'm gonna see if I can get them to blow up on this mine here. Boom! There we go. Let's get out my own grenades. Throw them. Got a few of them. So again, inventory system works real well. That was a not very good throw, but it still worked. Ah, there we are. We've found him. Super cool, creepy room here. The boss room found. Thank you. Walk into the skull here. And something tells me that that is our boss. The Skeleton King. Really cool model. Really good animation, too. Like his beard moves. He's kind of creepily walking around. Very well done. Very, very well done. Woo! Damn. And that's it. He is down and out. Let's go see what this is all about. Let me eat an apple while we're at it. See what we have in here. Boom. All right. Bunch of that gold that we can use to buy, you know, other stuff. See what weapon we're going to get. <laughs> a baseball bat. I did not. I was not expecting to see a baseball bat. Um, but yeah, so that, uh, everyone, is the demo for Pixel Dungeon VR, the baby of Ancient Dungeon and Dungeons of Eternity. And again, if you want to check this out, there's a free demo. The game is available for Quest. It will be available for Steam. I'm playing the Steam demo. And yeah, check out their Discord. I'll have a link down in the description for their Discord where you can try to get into some of those uh, weekend raids, I think are what they call them, where you can play multiplayer with the demo. So you and your buddies can uh, check this one out. And uh, I, I'll probably buy this game, I think, when it comes to Steam. You know, I'm a Steam guy. So I'm going to wait for that release myself. Um, yeah, combat training, I haven't seen that yet. Um, <clears throat> so, and if you want to see my full uh, video and impressions on the full version of the game, uh, press subscribe and I'll cover it when it does release uh, in the next couple of months or so. And I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. <laughs> um, yeah, Pixel Dungeon VR shows a lot of promise. Very fun, very smooth mechanics, ton of fun to play. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So thanks and catch you next time.